you know, when I started getting intrigued with hair jigs for walleyes was a few years back. But I got to thinking about the triggering effect of a hair jig, just like you fish it like, I said, man, I wonder what would happen if we started to fish them like I did jigging wraps or snap jigging like we did with plastic on, on, on the back of, of like a moon eye jig, which is so deadly. And it started to produce a whole lot of fish and it's become a real tool for me. It's been added to my bag of tricks. Why? Because it works. It works. This is a, a VMC, a bucktail jig, and what is so unique, unique about it, or one of the things that are unique about it, the head is, is shaped like a pear. It's weighted front forward, heavy weight on the front, and it just makes this jig fish a lot different than, than say, the Moon Eye jig, which is used for a different purpose. Shapes of heads, dressings, the different things. There's a lot more to a jig than a ball head and sticking a minnow on the back of it. A whole lot more. And that's one of the things we're talking about today. Fine tuning some stuff in jig fishing and the, the resurgence of hair jigging, which is a lot of fun. Now, if I can, I got to stretch my brain out to get back to the origins of hair jigging for walleyes in the Midwest. You got to realize there was a time when there were no big box retailers and almost all tackle was sold through what we would term independent dealers. These were little mom and pop shops spread throughout walleye country. In this region, the doll fly was the first of its kind, a bucktail jig used for catching walleyes. Next was Jack Crawford's jig, which had the most diverse line of what we term hair jigs. Then came the Caps jig out of Northern Iowa. This was all prior to any mass produced soft plastics. And then up popped the Mr. Twister and the soft bait revolution started and the hair jig, well, it got lost in the shuffle. The fact is hair jigging never stopped being effective. Many older anglers simply forgot how effective it was. And many new anglers, well, they don't know how good it can be. You know, when you think about hair on the back of baits, uh, like jigs or anything, I can think back and I've caught, in saltwater, I've caught grouper, I've caught um, drum, I've caught snappers, I've caught barracuda, I've caught tarpon, I've caught uh, gal, dorado. In freshwater, I've caught largemouth, or largemouth, smallmouth, I've caught lake trout, I've caught muskies, I've caught uh, northern pike and, and and crappies love hair and there's something about the hair bait and what I've noticed like last year um, we were crappie fishing and I had uh, one of the best crappie days I've ever had in my entire life pre-spawn and we were fishing hair underneath a float and these fish would come up and hit that bait and swim off like it was a live minnow they and there's something about hair that's not revolting or just, you know what I mean? They'll like they'll hit it and they, they hold on to it. Unlike, unlike sometimes with plastics. 